guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Monday, May 16th, 2022, and I am coming on here with the first official update for wings for May. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. <clears throat> I like yarn a lot, and I make stitch markers, so please go check out my Etsy shop. It is linked down below. If you could favorite the shop and favorite a few items, it really does help me. I also do live in the Chicago area. I have have one daughter her nickname is carrots like the vegetable and we have a bunch of animals in this place so we call it the zoo so for this year in the past two years you guys have helped me with a domestic violence organization that is also based here in the Chicago area called wings now all of the links for wings will be down below in the description box you can visit their website you can check out their wish list on Amazon and if you make purchases on Amazon and you don't already have a charity of choice you can choose Amazon by going to smiles.amazon.com the link is below and choose wings as your charity of choice and they get a small percentage of whatever you buy at no extra cost to you so they agreed a couple years ago to take some handmade donations from us and they're still agreeing to take them so we're, we're gonna go with it right so every month they are asking for something different I do encourage you to look down below in the description box for the list of items they have specific items that they are requesting for each month. For example, for the month of May, they are asking for diaper bags. Uh, for the month of June, they are asking for doll clothes, any size, and hacky sacks. Uh, so please go and check out the list. The list is also in uh, is a pinned announcement in the Facebook group for this channel. So if you would like to go and join, I encourage you to do that. Uh, you do have to answer three questions, but I do promise you they're easy. So for this update, I have 17 donations and it's going to go quick because a lot of them were sent from Amazon. So and those are just as important as the ones that are handmade. Um, but I do want to show those at the end of the video. Um, I don't think I have anything else regarding wings. I just really do encourage you to send in the items for the month um, that we're in. Uh, so for example, I know a lot of people are talking about um, winter sets and those are for September, I believe. And for wings, they are only asking for sets, winter sets. So it would be a hat and a scarf and a hat and a cowl. You can add mittens to that as well. There are quite a few people on YouTube that I asked to help me with this uh, this little <laughs> thing we got going on in September. But please do not send any of the winter gear, gear, gear in until September. So again, check out the list down below so you know exactly what month to send your items in. Uh, and the reason for that is they have a coat drive um, that they do, I think, in October or November. So that gives them a chance to actually I think it's October, that gives them a chance to get all that stuff together. So if, I mean, if you send something after September, I mean, they could use it. Um, but if you send stuff before, I don't have anywhere to store it and they don't have anywhere to store it. So um, if you could just keep the, um, just send the items that are in for the month that they're asking. So, all right, so we're gonna get started here. And by the way, if you want to, <clears throat> you can just write wings on your package and you don't have to include a card. If you would like to include a note with the pattern that you used and the yarn, that would be awesome. A lot of people are very interested in the patterns and yarns that you guys use. And I think I talked about it before in the last update video. Um, please don't apologize for anything if you are gonna leave me a note or if you're gonna leave a comment there's no apologizing for not donating there's no apologizing for only donating one thing there's no apologizing for how you think your work looks um, this is the no apology channel here so there's no apologizing and I'm not going to apologize to anyone either <laughs> I will say though you guys uh, I know I've had some friend requests on Facebook recently and I do not accept friend requests uh, that is my personal uh, business and I do have a Facebook business page that you can go and follow um, but I do do not accept personal friend requests on Facebook. Okay, so let's get, oh, you know what, one other thing. We had April thank you gifts and I uploaded that video, I think on the 10th and there's still a couple people that have not responded. So if you were able to donate in the month of April, please go and check out that thank you video and see if you're one of the winners because I've had quite a few people not respond and I think the deadline for that is tomorrow the 17th. Um, and once the deadline passes, I'm not accepting, <laughs> I mean, like, it's, I just got to move on. Okay. So, all right. So, um, the first package that I got here today 
is from Aisha and Aisha is from Missouri. And she sent a, a diaper bag in a Ziploc and the Ziploc bag says diaper bag with chapstick holder and it's her own design. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. Look at that. And she's even put a chapstick in there. That is awesome, Aisha, no kidding, really? So there's a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back and it's absolutely awesome. <clears throat> Thank you so much for sending this gorgeous, gorgeous little diaper bag. You know what, diaper bags don't have to be huge and overwhelming. I mean, someone could put a packet of wipes and a diaper in there if they're just like running to the park or something. Well, I don't know, you guys, it's been a long time since I've had babies, <laughs> a baby. Yeah, I mean, you have to put a lot of stuff in diaper bags, right? But this would be perfect for just an on-the-go. So Aisha, thank you so, so much for sending this. I absolutely love it. Thank you. All right, next. All right, guys, so the next package actually came from Amazon, and there was one of those little gift for you notes in here, and it says, I wanted to donate but didn't want to make these myself. I hope the kids at Wings will enjoy them. Thank you for providing us with the opportunity to help from Pam. All right, Pam, thank you so much for sending. So in the package was a pack of hacky sacks. So there are six hacky sacks in there. And by the way, so you guys know, hacky sacks are for June. So again, May is diaper bags and hacky sacks and doll clothes are for June. But thank you, I should be able to hang on to these until June. So thank you so much, Pam, for sending these. I do appreciate it. Now, if you guys are interested in making hacky sacks, please go over to Linda Crochet and more. She's been doing some experimenting with how to fill hacky sacks. And she has um, a great little video. I think it's one of her last videos. I'll link her down below and go check her out. She's using poly pellets and balloons. And um, I think she's got something good going on there. So go check out Linda. Hi, Linda, um, for how to make the hacky sacks. Not, I mean, like the circle, you can make that however you want, but um, she's got a good way to fill them up. So Pam, thank you so much for the hacky sacks. All right, next. All right, guys, the next package comes from Kim and she is from California and she has a YouTube channel here. She is called The Crafty Nomad. Hi, Kim. And she sent me a little package and it says, hi, Rose, so sorry I'm late. Hopefully these can still be used. Love, Kim. Okay, so she, you guys, she makes project bags. Um, she has an Etsy shop called Ebony Pearl, but I don't think she has anything in there um, at the time. You can go and check her out, but she sent, she makes these, um, these bags. Oh my goodness. So she made a makeup bag. So by the way, last month was April and it was makeup bags and hair accessories. So please don't send any more in if you have not sent them in. I mean, we're already in the middle of May, so I appreciate it if you don't send any more, but she made this beautiful box bottom makeup bag and it's like this vinyl material which means you know that if anything spills, ain't nothing gonna get ruined, right? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful, Kim. I'm definitely gonna go and bring it over to them. Um, they were using these for Mother's Day gift baskets, just so you guys know. So there's always, they always have a reason of what they're asking for in a certain month, most of the time. So, <laughs> so she sent this diaper bag and she sent two of these really, oh, there's more than two in here, these pretty velvet scrunchies. And can you guys see the beads? They're so pretty, Kim, thank you so much for sending. Kim has been like donating like almost every month. So Kim, I really do appreciate you. You guys go check her out. She's very crafty, that's why she's called the Crafty Nomad. I will link her down below in the description box. All right, so we're gonna get to this next one here and let me see who this is from. So this is from Sarah and Sarah is from Texas. And there is a note from Sarah and it says, hi, Rose, I'm moving and I guess I packed my stationery. Oh, she put it on a post-it note. You guys, it's okay. You can put it on a post-it note or a scrap sheet of paper. The pattern is bag o day. The yarn is a Karen Big Cake and the color is called Trifle. The handles are from Amazon. I love seeing everyone's work. Thank you from Sarah. Oh my gosh, Sarah, thank you so much for sending this. No way. Okay, you guys can see this, right? Look at the bottom. <clears throat> it's a box bottom. It's crochet. It's from Crystal at Bag o Day. She's the one that made the pattern. And she said the handles, these are really pretty. They're like navy handles. She just sewed them in. Oh my gosh, this is an awesome, awesome bag. And it's lined. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Sarah, this is gorgeous. I love it when you guys do this. 
I absolutely love it. I, I really need to try one, but we're halfway through May and I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to do it. Oh, you guys, the bottom, it's um, it's hard. It's got like the um, plastic canvas in there. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Sarah, thank you so much for making this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, diaper bag. I absolutely love it and I really do appreciate it. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next bag comes from Carolyn and she's from California, <clears throat> excuse me, and she sent this beautiful card. And you guys, it's not actually something handmade. Let me read the card. Hi, Rose. First of all, thanks for all you do for wings. So wonderful. I hope you're in the best of health when this arrives. I am. Thank you. I ordered a Mary Maxim mystery box. I was hoping you can use this as a giveaway for wings. Thank you so much in advance. Love you and your channel very much. Always, Carolyn. And then she says, be safe. Oh my gosh. Carolyn, are you serious? Really? I can give this away? <gasps> okay, so I guess this came in a Mary Maxim mystery bag, mystery box, mystery bag. So there's, so this isn't wings related, but it will be a thank you gift. So there's uh, 10, there's 12 balls of this yarn that she would like for me to give away as a thank you gift. And let me see, it doesn't really say anything. It just says super soft on there and it's like a baby blue. And uh, it does, I don't know, I'm sure it says what weight it is, but it looks really thin, it's baby yarn. So thank you so much, Carolyn. I am gonna put this in the giveaway stash closet and uh, maybe we'll give that away for May, for May thank you gifts, but I really do appreciate you sending that. That's really, really kind of you. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next big box comes from someone named Drew. Hi, Drew. And Drew is from a town here in Illinois that I'm not familiar with. <laughs> she sent a note and it says, Rose, here's a couple of things more for wings. I bought the purple yarn on sale and since I know your love for it, I figured you can make better use of it than me. Thanks from Drew. Okay, and she's telling me how the town is pronounced and they are near Peoria, but I'm not, I don't want to say what the name of her town is uh, for safety reasons. So Drew, thank you so much for sending that. Okay, so let's see what's in the box. Okay, so we have some hats. Oh my goodness, these are beautiful. Okay, so there's one, two, oh, that looks like that um, bloom yarn maybe, three, four, and then we have, oh my gosh, this is so thick. This is two scarves. Oh my gosh, it's super thick and beautiful. So Drew, I'm gonna bring this over to Wings, but um, for anyone else who's watching, please don't send any winter wear until September and they are specifically requesting sets. So it needs to be a hat and a scarf set that match or a hat and a cowl set that match or a scooty or like a hooded scarf. Um, you can add mittens or gloves to it but they did request matching sets. They had a really hard time last year getting people to pick out a hat and there was no scarf to match it. So that's what they were asking for. Okay, so let's see what else. Oh, I don't have this. Oh my gosh, Drew, thank you so much for sending this. Karen Chunky Cakes. So I have a ton of the regular Karen cakes in this. It's called like uh, Blackberry or Bumble Bumbleberry. So she sent me two of these. Oh, no way and it's called oh it's called bumbleberry in the super thick one too <gasps> karen chunky cakes thank you so much i really do appreciate it i love this i'm thinking i might make um octos with it i'll try and make octos or big chunky hats or something thank you so much drew for sending the donations and for the yarn i really really do appreciate it your work is absolutely beautiful and this is so soft thank you so much all right next all right, you guys, so the next package comes from someone named Mo in Colorado, and I just have to say, the top of the box says, lovingly crafted in a cat-free facility. <laughs> Love, Mo. Oh my gosh, Mo, that is so awesome. So um, if you guys aren't sure what that's about, I'm pretty allergic to cats, and I would really appreciate it that if you do send handmade donations and your cats have been on them, either to wash them or air them out or something or just not let your cats on it. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one that has severe allergies to cats. I'm sure maybe some of the people at Wings do too. So it would be awfully nice if you guys could um, 
try and keep your cats off of the items that you send for donations. Okay, so I opened up the box and this is what I see. And if you guys remember, April was the month for hair accessories. So it looks like this box is full of hair bands. Oh my goodness. Remember, please do not send any more <clears throat> any more hair accessories. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of them. Mo, you worked so hard on these. Okay, so here's more. Oh my gosh, and they're so pretty. I wish I could show them all individually, but we all know that I don't have time for that. So I'll just show you there's more. Oh my gosh, that's like all you did, right? Okay, and then we have makeup bags. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Look at that. So those are like the drawstring ones. And let me see what else we have in here. Mo, you are so awesome. Okay, so here's one that has buttons on it. Gorgeous. Oh, here's more. Oh my gosh. Mo, thank you so much for sending these. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Uh, Mo, I would like to know where you got the buttons because they're gorgeous. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually put them back very neatly in this box when I'm done. Oh, look at how pretty that is. She just used different color thread on the buttons. Okay, there's a couple more in here. Oh my gosh. Mo, let us know if you have patterns for any of these because they're so pretty. So just because Wings is done collecting them doesn't mean that you guys can't make them. So we would really appreciate the pattern for, for these. They all look kind of the same. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh, you used every color in the rainbow. Mo, thank you so much for sending all of these. Oh my goodness, there's more. Oh, that, that could also be used like a pencil case too. Here's another one. And then we have one more. Oh my gosh. Mo, that is so much stuff. Thank you so much for sending all of these. I'm actually going to put the headbands in a separate package for wings so that they know that there's headbands. And I really do appreciate it. And again, if you guys could not send anything from past months, I would really, really appreciate that. So we'll get to the next one now. All right, you guys. So everything else from this point on was sent via Amazon. So I'm not going to have like boxes to open or anything. I've already kind of taken them out of the boxes and I have the little thank you gifts. Um, there was one package that didn't have a name on the thank you gift, but I think I know who it's from. So, okay. So um, in this particular package, I have two diaper bags. Now, a lot of people um, wanted to donate to Wings, but they did not want to have to make a diaper bag. And that's fine. You know, if you have Prime and you can get it shipped for free and that's the way you would like to donate, I'm certainly not going to tell you no. Um, but just so you guys know, you can crochet, knit, loom knit, sew things. However you want to donate to Wings is very much appreciated. Okay, so I have the gift receipts. Um, um, okay, this is from Emma. And she says... Hi Rose, I'm terrible at sewing and I'm afraid to try and crochet a bag. So I ordered four bags from Amazon for my May donations for Wings. Your yarny friend Emma from New York. Okay, and so then there's um, one diaper bag that was in that box and then there was a second box and <laughs> the gift message said, Hi Rose, I guess this is package number two from Amazon of the four diaper bags I ordered from Wings from Emma. Okay, so this is why I think that there was there was another box that had two in it and there was no name on it. But Emma, let me know if that's the case. Okay, so this is all in um, it's all in like airtight plastic, and then inside the plastic, it's in like a Ziploc bag. So I don't know if you guys can kind of see it. It looks like a backpack style because there's like the top pocket and that one. And there's straps on the back. So there's one, two. So there's two like this. And then I'm going to get the other two that didn't have a name on it. And Emma, you can let me know if those are yours too. Hang on. Okay, you guys. So these are the two bags that I did get tickets for. Um, it says two baby bag backpacks. It says a gift for you, enjoy your gift. And there's no name or anything on there. And it was two of these. Here we go. So Emma, let me know if these were the ones that you sent or not. Otherwise we have someone else that sent you and there was no name on the thank you gift. So I hope, I'm hoping these were yours, Emma. <laughs> so Emma, thank you so much. You definitely did not have to send four, but I super appreciate it. And remember you guys, if you can't crochet something for the month, please don't worry about it. You guys, 
I think February was amigurumi. I don't do amigurumi. I didn't make anything for February. I guarantee you I'm not making doll clothes, so please don't feel bad. <laughs> Remember, this is the No Apology channel. <laughs> All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, so this next one also, it, like I said, is from Amazon, and there is a receipt, uh, and it says, for some reason, this one had to ship on its own. Hope someone can use it from Marlene. So Marlene actually sent, um, I think, a couple from Amazon. Let me see here. I know she sent another stack. So uh, this one that she sent in this one package looks like kind of like a mini backpack, but it's a, oh, you know what? It unfolds. Hold on, let me show you. Actually, I'm not gonna show you. I thought this was like an easy pull, but it's not. I'm gonna rip the bag and I want these to stay nice and clean. Um, but it looks like it's a regular backpack because there's the handle and it just unfolds. So Marlene, thank you for this one. And I'm gonna go find the other ones that you sent. Okay, so in the other package from Marlene, there were three diaper bags. And it says, I knew I would never crochet a bag, but wanted to help some ladies out. There are three in this order and one more should arrive separately. And that was the one I just showed you. Thanks for all you do for wings from Marlene. Ah, oh, Marlene, thank you so much. Okay, so here is one of the diaper bags that she sent. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's like a really pretty salmon color. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love, I love, love them. Here is another one and it's just, it's got like this um, geometric design on it. And the, um, the tag says something about baby about baby so pretty i know i'm just showing you guys plastic but i really want to keep these nice and clean for wings and this is the third one it's huge oh my gosh this is like one of those old laptop bags <laughs> it's really big it's got a nice hard bottom on it <laughs> i absolutely love it marlene thank you so much for sending the four diaper bags that was absolutely incredible of you you did not have to do that and i really do appreciate it all right, next. All right, you guys, so the next box from Amazon had one diaper bag in it, and the gift message says, for wings this month, my grandson picked it out. I guess he loves purple just like you and me. I showed him five options, all different colors, and this is the one he selected from Barbara, and Barbara is the our favorite person here on YouTube who lives on a boat in Florida, and we absolutely adore you, Barbara, and thank you so much. So here is the backpack diaper bag and it is so pretty thank you so much for sending this even the straps are purple i love it thank you so much barbara so the next package that i had actually had three diaper bags in it and i have two separate gift messages um uh, Rose, thank you for all you do. Hope they like these bags. Love you, Carol from, from Carol. She has her last name on here, um, and I'm not going to say her last name. And then the other thank you note said, Rose, I thought of you when I picked this one. Love you, Carol. Okay, so here's the one that she thought of me <laughs> when she picked it. It's the same one as the one Barbara sent, and they're, they're awesome. Oh, my gosh. And then the other two are this brown color. No, one is brown and one is gray. Oh my gosh, you guys are so incredibly generous. Thank you so much for sending these diaper bags for the ladies at Wings. That is, you know, for, some, from, for someone who has nothing, this is going to be everything to them. And I, I appreciate it on their behalf. So thank you so much. Okay, we have a few more to go. Okay, you guys, so the one that I have right here has um, that it is a baby, baby boom zebra bag and there was there was the tags in here that had what the item was but there was no thank you note in there so i don't know who sent this so whoever sent this adorable diaper bag thank you so so much for sending it um you can leave a comment down below in the comment section and let me know if you sent it so we can all say thank you very much um if you want to remain anonymous that's fine too but thank you so much for sending it it's very very adorable okay the next one i have here the gift note says enjoy your gift from gloria and it is this diaper bag right here it is uh, like it's just a solid black backpack. 
show you the back of it. So Gloria, thank you so much for sending this. It is so nice. Um, the next one says, hi Rose, here is a diaper bag for the moms at Wings. Hopes, hope it's suitable and they get lots of use with it. Thank you for all you do with this worthy and needy charity. Thank you for letting us all be a part of it from Carolyn. Oh, Carolyn, thank you so much. Okay, so this is absolutely adorable. You guys see there's little gold stars in there. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, you can't really see much from the back. But it says like baby fanfare, just a regular diaper bag. And it's beautiful. And thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys sending these. I should probably do the same thing because I'm probably not going to make one. <laughs> okay, the next one comes from, oh, this is another one from Gloria. Okay, it just says enjoy your gift from Gloria. And it is a green one. That is so pretty. Gloria, you sent so many. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then the last one for today, you guys. Let me see who this one is from. It says, Hi Rose, I thought this would be a great gender neutral bag for wings. No time this month for crochet, sadly, from Diana. Diana, thank you so much. That is so nice. Oh my gosh, it's a khaki green, you guys. And it's a diaper backpack. Oh my gosh. So for everyone who sent items handmade, I appreciate you. For everyone who sent items from Amazon, I appreciate you. It doesn't really matter where it comes from or how you make it. It's just the fact that you guys are willing to help these people who are victims of domestic violence. And, and obviously a lot of the things that they are asking for for wings are not necessities. Um, but it really does help the ladies over there. And I do appreciate you guys. So that is all I have for this update. I know it went quick because of the Amazon items. Um, if you could please leave a comment down below, a positive comment down below in the comment section. If you can like and share this video, that would be really nice. Um, and I think that's it. Um, I don't have anything else for wings probably this week. Um, but keep in mind, please take a look at the list down below so that you are sending the items in the correct month. And if you have any questions, again, leave a comment or you can always email me as well. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good rest of your week. Bye.